Gordon James Ramsay is a chef, restaurateur, television personality, and author based in the United Kingdom. Ramsay is well known as a reality television personality for his truthfulness, as well as his volcanic temper, severe approach, and regular swearing. But there's a lot more to him than just that. In this video, we're going to cover the 10 things that you don't know about Gordon Ramsay. Number 1. He became a chef when he was only 27 years old. In his early culinary career, Ramsay trained under Marco Pierre White, Joel Rubicon, and Guy Savoy, among others. At barely 27 years old though, Ramsay launched his own career as a master chef. In 1993, he became head chef of the newly built Aubergine Restaurant in London. In just three years, Ramsay earned the restaurant a two-star Michelin certification, and in 1995, he was crowned Newcomer of the Year at the prestigious Katie Awards. Number 2. He hates Marco Pierre White The brass chef has televised his altercations with a slew of renowned guests, most notably his erstwhile master, Marco Pierre White. According to Ramsay, White is the person he despises the most in the world. Ramsay once recalled an occasion when working in the kitchen at Harvey's when he attempted to pass White but was elbowed and told, you're like dog <laughs> constantly in the middle of the road. Since then, the duo have had a number of run-ins, notably when Ramsay unexpectedly showed up to White's wedding with a camera crew. Marcus Waring is also on Ramsay's bad side. The two chefs part of ways following a disagreement. Waring has recently revealed to the Sunday Times that he created the rupture in order to open his own restaurant. Similarly, Ramsay is embroiled in a spat with Jamie Oliver, which began when the naked chef publicly chastised Ramsay for criticizing Australian journalist Tracy Grimshaw's looks. Ramsay responded by referring to Oliver as a one-pot wonder. Since then, the pair have quarreled. Number three, he speaks fluent French. When Ramsay came to France to learn under some of the country's top chefs, he said he didn't know a word of French. After swiftly acquiring fluency in the language, he was promoted to a Michelin star position at Guy Savoy's Michelin star restaurant. Now that he was no longer required to pursue side jobs, he was free to explore Parisian cuisine on his own. He said, I would go door to door collecting menus for a menu collection. I currently have over 3,500 menus, and I like pursuing them. At home, they're all arranged alphabetically in a filing drawer. It's akin to a large pull-out console at the foot of the bed. It's perpetually near to me. Number 4. Originally, he wanted to be a soccer player. Ramsey was hired as a trialist by Rangers FC, Scotland's most successful soccer team, when he was a youngster. However, he claims to have appeared in just two matches for the squad both of which were non-league friendlies, and ended his sports career at the age of 18 due to a recurring knee ailment. He told the Observer Sport Monthly in 2001, As a school child, I began playing a lot of football, and I performed admirably. I was an aggressive left back by nature and a bloodthirsty tackler. You may have passed once, but there was never a second time, and I was quick. I was a fantastic 100 meter sprinter. Number 5. He's very fit. Ramsey has completed 15 marathons, 3 ultra marathons, 4.5 Ironman triathlons, and the world's most difficult Ironman triathlon in Hawaii. Ramsey thrives on rivalry. Perhaps this is why he's such an accomplished chef. He takes satisfaction in practicing while the majority of his competitors sleep. He thrives under stress. He enjoys physical activity and is well aware of the perils of gaining weight while attempting to meet the demands of a line cook. He has witnessed overweight cooks collapsing under the heat and stress of work, unable to move swiftly and forced to take time off. He ran his first marathon in 4 hours and 57 minutes in 2001 and immediately realized he could do much better. In 2004, he shaved off an hour and 27 minutes from his record, coming up just short of the sub 3 hours and a half barrier. He subsequently began training for triathlons under the tutelage of Will Usher, whom he met while taking self-defense lessons. His first training session was riding for 4 hours in the frigid cold with frostbitten toes. Yet, he never gave up or stopped, 
And for his first triathlon, he selected the most difficult one, Kalua Kona, and completed it. Obviously, he required a greater challenge, as he signed up for the Ironman 70.3 Silverman in Las Vegas. The daily routine alone is to make anyone cower in horror. Trainees were up at 3 a.m., discreetly making their way to the lake to prepare for the swim. He performed the astounding accomplishment in a little over 14 hours, despite losing 22 pounds of water weight due to the scorching heat. When he exercises closer to home, he likes running by the Thames, riding to various local tea places, and infusing his food with the same dedication and passion. Because he has an outlet through racing, he now finds cooking calming and really immerses himself in the craft. He approaches both racing and cuisine with the same level of determination and excellence. If you're loving this video, then make sure to subscribe and leave a comment saying, I subscribed, and we will personally reply to your comment. Number six, he was held up at gunpoint in an illegal fishing investigation. Ramsey was 44 years old when he came to Costa Rica to investigate the illegal shark fin trade for the Big Fish Fight television show. The industry was valued at billions of dollars, was risky, and was uncontrolled. Ramsey referred to an event that occurred one day before his arrival, in which a crew posed as a ship full of hammerhead sharks in order to protect a cargo of cocaine bundles. The people who ran the trade built fort-like facilities to keep others out and prevent them from seeing the thousands of fins being prepared to trade. Ramsey attempted to enter one of the forts on his own, but as he climbed the steps, the crew spilled a barrel of gas over him and attempted to kidnap him. This time, he escaped. Later, he was able to negotiate his way on board one of the illicit fin trafficking vessels. He jumped into the water to investigate and discovered a sack beneath the keel. He took the bag, carried it aboard, and emptied the contents upon the deck, revealing hundreds of shark fins. As you would guess, the staff was livid at the prospect of being outed, maybe on television, since cameras had been following Ramsey around. When the boat returned to the quay, individuals armed with weapons aimed them at Ramsey, telling the crew to cease recording, and the police forcibly removed him from the country. Talk about maintaining your composer in a stressful circumstance. Perhaps his experience in the kitchen instilled in him the necessary fearlessness. Number 7. He's been married for 22 years. Ramsey is married to a former teacher, Kaitana Tana Hutchison. They were married in 1996 and have weathered a few storms over their years together. But none of the turmoil appears to have harmed their relationship. Indeed, during a public spat between Ramsey and Tana's father, Chris Hutchison, Ramsey told the son, We looked after one another, and it's brought us, Tana, myself, and the children closer together than we've ever been. As a result of it all, our marriage has become stronger. Gordon and Tana Ramsey are well-known philanthropists. According to the chef's website, the Gordon and Tana Ramsey Foundation contributes to the Great Ormond Street Hospital Children's Charity in order to provide some of the sickest children the greatest opportunity in life. Number eight, he has five children. The British star is a father of five, and here's all you need to know about his family. Megan is 23, twins Jack and Holly are 21, Matilda, who's known as Tilly, is 19, and Oscar James is one year old. Tilly is a TV chef best known for presenting the BBC cooking show Matilda and the Ramsay Bunch on CBBC, which recently concluded its fifth season. She has also appeared as a guest on MasterChef Junior and a variety of late night and chat shows with her father. Oscar James is the latest addition to the Ramsey family after his mom Tana suffered a miscarriage in her previous pregnancy. Number 9. He never eats airplane food. Ramsey told Refinery29, I would never eat on a plane. I spent years working with airlines so I know where the food comes from and where it goes as well as how long it takes to get on board. Ramsey ensures that he never goes hungry on a long haul journey by eating beforehand. I'm like a pig in with a wonderful assortment of Italian meats, a small glass of red wine, with some apple slices or pears with some parmesan cheese, he explained. Number 10. He had a rough childhood. 
As a child, my father was far from an ideal role model. He said to CNN in 2007, I witnessed his struggle with alcoholism and his escalating violence towards my mother to the point that she feared for her life. Every time he became furious, he shattered whatever present my brother, sisters, or I had given our mother, just because he knew it was hers. At times, the police were sent to remove him. Mom was brought back to the hospital while we children were transported to a children's home. Ramsey and his wife Tana are currently ambassadors for Women's Aid, a British organization dedicated to the eradication of domestic abuse against women and children. And if you found this video useful, then you'll love these. And be sure to like this video to let that YouTube algorithm know that you'd like to see more videos like this one.